The people living in one residential area of Tangipaho Parish say they don't want a massive distribution center built in their neighborhood, and they're accusing parish leaders of trying to fast track that project. WDSU's Travers Mackle spent the day in Hammond. He has the very latest. Gina, the proposed facility would be about 800,000 square feet. That's roughly the size of the Superdome from a square footage standpoint. Neighbors in certain parts of Hammond say they don't want it, and tonight they'll have a chance to voice their concerns. In this quiet neighborhood in Hammond, not far from the airport in that city, people say they have a peaceful way of life. This is a residential area. There are a number of subdivisions right around here. Hunter McAllister is a retired professor at Southeastern. He's opposed to the idea of a company called Medline even considering this piece of property near his neighborhood as the site for a distribution center. It's always been a, a very comfortable place for families with children and I see the nature of that changing with this new development. And he's not alone. We really have some deep concerns about that. That's because Medline, a giant medical distribution company, had plans to build in neighboring St. Tammany Parish. The facility would bring in about 200 jobs, but people there have pushed back on the proposed project, as has the parish president, Mike Cooper. That's why the potential site in Tangibaho is now in play. I think the, the concern that St. Tammany exhibited has a lot to do with what's happening here in Hammond. The city says a special council meeting will be held Monday night to discuss all options and hear from residents. Nothing is official just yet. Many people living here say they hope the elected leaders listen to their concerns. I hope they don't rezone a residential area into an industrial area, even if it's light industrial. So that meeting is happening right now. It started at 530. It's happening at the Michael J. Kenny Center that's in Hammond. That's in part because of the size of that facility, and they want to make sure that everybody who attends shows social distancing. For now, reporting at my home, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.